What's up, webheads? Apparently, I have Black Spider here. Welcome back to Honkai Star Rail. Now, last we left off in this game, we um, we got our butts handed to us by that guy. Um, so yeah, but we're jumping back into it. We're gonna try and defeat this dude, and this time I have a perfect team for this. I have Herda for the ice, Malachi for the imaginary, Dong Hung for the whatever it is he's got again, wind, and Natasha for healing mostly. So hopefully if this lineup I'll have a little bit better of a chance. Please stay tuned. So, we'll see how this goes. Wow, right off the bat. Move carefully. The time is now. Let's improvise. I'm gonna put a healing on Natasha because I need her to stay in the game. Wow. Step aside. Seriously? I have no interest in stoking. Her is down the already. What the heck? In death. This century is but a vision. Barely just started. Naughty children, don't listen. Nap time. Still the same one. The time is now. Take your positions. Dreams do come true. That'll take more than medicine. All better now? Great teamwork. The mood is set just right. Let the show begin! <laughs> just in time. Just a little something. Stay in step. It's my turn. I'm okay. A miracle. <laughs> Time for a shot. <laughs> Don't worry about me. <laughs> All better now? I forgot that. I forgot that. Natasha had automatic self. Never skills. heard of it. The truth of life and death, revealed in an invisible, is but a vision. Oh, of course. Merciful Maticus. Oh, awesome. There's four of them now. Here comes the medicine. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Don't worry about me. This 
Wow. Wow. That, I, mm, that is annoying as all heck. Okay, well, we are going to see what we can do to do better this time around. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay. I think I've done about all I can do with the current lineup of characters that I have to get them at um, high enough levels and anything else. That hopefully, I'm hoping beyond all hope that that actually helps me actually win. Move carefully. But here's hope. Stay in step. It's my turn. Here comes the medicine. How appropriate. <laughs> A miracle. Clemency? Never heard of it. The time is now. What are you looking at? Down. Time to twirl. Take your positions. Let's improvise. Next time. Actually, I probably should have aimed that at the end. One down, two to go. Oh, poor you. Nobody's dying on my way. Not this time around. I won't allow it. The truth of life and death. Revealed right, let's in an instant. This guy out and get him out of here. It's but a vision. So I don't have quite a name to worry about next time. My turn. The mood is set just right. Let the show begin. Favor the vigor of <laughs> Merciful Manicus. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking cotton. <laughs> All right. Time to Maybe you can keep down. Do you know who I am? Ever see a diamond this big? It's all yours. Time to Stay in step. Dreams do come true. Okay, all right, we're doing better. We're doing better. <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. 
Here comes the medicine. Clemency? Never heard of it. You must be honored to meet me. It's gonna hurt. Alright. Yes! Finally! Gee, many Christmas. That took forever. Oh, finally! Look how many tail hairs I lost on the way! Oh, my beautiful tail! We had a difficult start, but things got easier. Look, that's the barge I was talking about. Is this manual or automatic? Don't fret. All Amacassiters know their way around a star skiff. Oh, I was perfectly calm until she volunteered to help. Please take your seats, everyone. We'll be off right away. Whew, okay. Well, finally managed... Finally actually making some progress on here, so that's good. Alright, let's go. Oh, that's pretty cool, not gonna lie. I'm gonna keep with the current team on that I got right of now. The sky Commission, allow me to welcome you to Star Skiff Haven. On the Sienjo La Fu, anything relating to aviation, navigation, and trade falls within the scope of the Skyfaring Commission, which is one of the six commissions of the La Fu. As the biggest port on the ship, Star Skiff Haven is governed by the Skyfaring Commission, too. I see. You definitely sound like a. Uh, what was it again? Oh, Amy Cassiter. By which I mean, nice speech. That's too kind of you. My job involves ferrying business delegates to and from Starskiff Haven, so I do this kind of introduction all the time. Fair enough. Anyway, we're safe now. Normally, I'd be a good host and take you around, but these are difficult times. Let's head to the Palace of Astrum first and report your arrival to Madame Yukong. Palace of Astrum? Right there, the tallest building in the city. It's also the headquarters of the Skyfaring Commission. Let's hurry, we haven't got much time. What's the hurry? I don't mean to <coughs> rush you, but if Madame Yukong holds me accountable for not getting you over soon enough, I wouldn't want to be around for the consequences. Sounds Fair. scary. I thought you said she was kind-hearted. We need to make a few preparations before paying a visit to any of the six commissions. Rest assured, Miss Tingyun, we won't go anywhere. If you can inform Madame Yukong of our arrival first, we'll meet you at the palace entrance later. Very well. All right. So what do you think? So what do you think? Little Miss Fox moves at quite the pace. I can't keep up with her. I've spent too long on the bench. Let's catch our breath for a while, huh? We can expect a packed schedule ahead. Fair enough. That thing you that might be a little harsh, but she does put her own interests first. She did the right thing by not trusting us initially. We were an unknown quantity to her. As for the rush, uh, <laughs> my guess is she's just eager to get us out of her hair and further up the chain. And you come on something It'll be all right. Later. We're not trying to stand in her way. We have nothing to hide from her. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have anything to hide in Bellabog either. Nice. Not so fast. City. I need to give you two a heads up first. 
Our meeting with Madame Yukon won't be without risk. We need to be prepared and take it seriously. She Fair is enough. a top Sienjo leader. Oh, Mr. Yang, do you think this could be Bellabog all over again? Let's hope not. Are you saying that Madame Yukong is to be a No, Sienjo Alliance is better than that. But Madame Yukong will definitely have a string of difficult questions for us. <clears throat> Why did we choose to come to the Sienjo now? How did we know that the incident is related to a Stellaron? Who leaked their information to us? Careless answers mean distrust and potential hostility, which would make things much harder for us. Yeah, yeah. Hi, crud. One of us is gonna blurt something out or get something wrong. I just know it. Mr. Yang should be Good talking. idea. We can be his cheerleaders in the background. Let's not do that. Don't worry. We'll find a way through. Let me do the talking. All right. New message from Miss Ting Yun. Benefactor, I'd like to ask you something. What is it? This may be disrespectful, but I'm very curious. Is the Express really here just to help the Janzel Lafru sell the cell phone? Yes, why? Is that is it really that hard to understand why the Express is here? Can't someone kind of kinda of so they're hard? After all, people who help others without thinking of conversation or risk starting the dangerous ships across the cosmos and ra is rarer than air and vacuum. One of the higher ups of Jin Zhao first heard of your least company, they thought you were here either to seek immortality or to sell it Seek immortality? Seeking immortality is after the village of Jin Zhao, no? Yes, as the home of long life species, countless looks for seekers. From all corners of the universe come to Jin Chow to reenact bygone histories and discover the secret of his new levels of immortality. Well, it doesn't make across the line. I don't know why I said all this. I have absolute no trust in your sincerity, benefactor, but. Uh, but the powerful masters are bound to think more than a pawn like me. So please be careful. Alright, head to the Palace of Ashram and meet the Yukon. Else play. There's not much place to say else for it to go, so it's not like we can really do much else. At least we're in a bit of a safe zone. I want to look around a little bit though. There's a shop. There, there's, there's a, sh a, sh a shop here, a vending machine. Uh, mung bean sodas, cow. Uh, let's take this one. Just cause I don't trust the mung bean soda, but okay. I mean, you can't go wrong with simple water. Excuse me. Oops. Sorry, this place was sealed up. Please go another way around. Ah. That's fair. We'll get through this. Let's simply close off. Please use another route. Okay. So, none of the stairs are um, usable at the moment. Alrighty. I guess we're going this way. Oh hey, treasure chest. Cool. All right. Eh, that's fine. I'm. Um, I like taking all kinds of routes. Oh hey, another treasure chest. Looks good. Alright, um, well, the only way to get there at this point is up this way. 
Um, let's see. Let's look around a little bit more. Oop. This area is under, the area is currently under inspection. The lock will be lifted when it's safe to use the shirt. Uh, okay then. Then there's no other way to go but this way. I'm guessing that's probably another area that's locked down. So, I guess the only way to go is this way. Okay. I got space anchor. Well, there's really no place for us to go, so whoop. Can I break this? No. That's just an... Uh, okay, here's Sing Yan. Oh, you're here already. Sorry to keep you waiting. Madame Yukong is expecting you. Are you not coming? That's fair. I've brought the Madame Helmmaster up to speed. It's over to you now. Uh, fair enough, I suppose. Yes, madam. Report the Navigation losses notes. to General Jing Yuan and find someone from the Divination Commission. I can't just stand there watching while we deal with this mess. That's be you, Kong. Greetings, guests from the Astral Express. Ting Yun has informed me of the purpose of your visit. Receiving guests isn't normally one of my responsibilities. But since you know okay. about the Stellaron and have stated that you want to help the Law Fu, I thought I should at least meet you in person and politely right. decline your proposal. And here we go. Huh. It's Madame Kokoya all over again. Uh, I'm gonna keep silent. The Sienjo Alliance knows what a Stellaron is, and is more than capable of handling it ourselves. We have been around for over 8,000 years, and weathered countless dangers and crises. While the situation is serious, we have more than enough resources to spare. Outsider help is not needed on this occasion. Is that a fact? You are guests from afar. There is no reason for this matter to concern you. Am I making myself clear? From what we've gathered, the influence of the Stellaron can still be contained. If we can locate it in time and contain it, it's possible that we can restore any space and any individuals affected by the corrosion. We have experience in preventing Stellaron disasters, and we've only come here to lend you that experience. I've said this and I'll say it again. This is an internal affair of the Sienjo Alliance, and there is no need for the Astral Express to get involved. I decided to arrange a meeting with you as a gesture of respect, but my decision is final. Uh, but... Never mind, Mr. Yang. If the Sienjo Alliance say they can handle it, then we're wasting our breath. Let's go. I'm afraid that's impossible. Huh? And what's that supposed to mean? It's only March. been a few days since the presence of a Stellaron was detected on the Law Fu. Starskiff Haven has been under full lockdown. No one has been permitted to leave. How did you come to know of the incident? And what led you to conclude that it was linked to a Stellaron? Here we go. I acquired the access history of Starskiff Haven. Not long ago, someone hacked into the system and opened the Jade Gate. Before guiding you, the Astral Express, into our territory. Oh, the hacker great. was skillful and even taunted us with her seal. Her name is Silverwolf, a member of the Stellaron Hunters. Oh dear. What say you in your defense? Um... I'm gonna keep silent. You are forbidden from talking. leaving the Skyfaring Commission until the aforementioned questions have been investigated. 
Don't be too harsh, Yukong. If this gets out, the whole galaxy will think the Alliance has forgotten how to treat our guests. Is that Blade? And General Jing Yuan. Oh, it's never mind. very unlikely that the Express has joined forces with the Stellaron Hunters. They are mortal enemies, after all. Whew. Apologies you, for interrupting Yuan. your meeting. My name is Jing Yuan. I'm the general of the Cloud Knights here on the Law Fu. General, okay. this is an internal affair for the Law Fu. I fully agree with you, Helm Master Yu Kong. This is indeed an internal affair. I am sorry, guests of the Astral Express. It is true that there is a Stellaron on the Lo Fu, but I'm afraid I cannot accept your kind offer to help resolve the issue. This is a Xian Zhou matter, and it is our responsibility to handle it. Of course, it would be inappropriate of me to let you return without something to show for it. While I cannot accept your help with regard to the Stellaron, I do have a favor to ask. Please. After you. Okay. Ah, the Astral Express. I must confess that the train's reputation precedes it, such that it is often close to my thoughts. How delightful to come face to face with its passengers. It's an honor to Definitely meet you, General. Uh, may I ask what the favor you spoke of is? Ah, a matter that requires capable people such as yourselves. We captured a member of the Stellaron Hunters a few days ago, who goes by the name of Blade. During our investigation, uh, yes, yes, the Blade. Divination Commission, the department in charge of intelligence processing, intercepted a transmission sent out by his accomplice, Kafka who has managed to hide aboard the ship. As for where that transmission was destined... The Express. I have some knowledge of your relationship with the Stellaron Hunters. The Divination Commission is convinced that you made an alliance with them. <laughs> I say that's impossible. The crew of the Astral Express are honorable people whose valiant deeds are lauded across the universe. There must have been a misunderstanding. As such, I came to the conclusion that the communication must have been an attempt by the Stellaron Hunters to sow dissent between us. We can handle the Stellaron, but it will take time and will require the bulk of the Cloud Knights on the ship. And it's this Kafka that concerns me. The longer she stays on the ship, the bigger the threat she will pose. Since the Stellaron Hunters lured you to our ship, we shall move with the current. You are hereby authorized to do as you deem fit on the Lofu, with the goal of bringing Kafka out of the shadows and under our control. Doing so would clear the misunderstanding between us, Reveal the true intentions of the Stellaron Hunters, and help us understand their connection to the Stellaron Burst. What say you, my astral guests? Uh, hmm. What do you think? Let's move with the current and help out. If you are able to capture this Stellaron Hunter, the Sien Zhou will be indebted to you. The Lo Fu never fails to reward that which is given. Okay. Wonderful. It's a deal then. I shall notify Yu Kong that all intel is to be shared with you, and that our best personnel are to aid you in your search. If there is anything the Skyfaring Commission or the Cloud Knights can do for you during your stay, don't hesitate to make it known. Right. Jack put in a well shot to your covert gesture. Death, death you understand that this is the cruise on discussion time. Oh joy. Mm. 
What's up, Mr. Yuan? I think we only scratched the surface of this General Jing Yuan. Do you think there's something strange I about I don't know about strange, but my gut tells me something is off. Hmm. Ah, that's it. A minor detail, but curious. He avoided talking about Blade. Since the Cloud Knights have already captured a Stellaron Hunter, why not use him to get to Kafka? Huh? Why rely on us? The Sienjo is reluctant to involve outsiders in the Stellaron disaster, so why is it so keen on letting us capture a Stellaron Hunter? Yes. Did Blade have escaped? The only sensible conclusion I can draw is that Blade had already escaped when Jing Yuan spoke to us, provided they even captured him in the first place. Therefore, yeah. given our connection to Kafka, we represent the only way of luring the Stellaron hunters in. That's why he asked for our help. He didn't want to let anyone else find out that Blade had already escaped. Now that we've figured that out, perhaps we can get closer to the core of what's happening here. All right. Meet with Ting Yun. Let's see what March 7th has to say here. What do you make of this, Ching Yuan? Suspicious. Come on, you think everyone's suspicious. He's much easier to talk to than that Yukong. Their attitudes are so different. Maybe that's why she's only a helm master and he's a general. Hmm, if you say so, much. Alright, let's still talk to Ting Yun. Master Diviner. You heard our discussion. What do you make of it? What do I make of it? The way of heaven is apparent, but the heart of humanity is often deceptive. Are you asking me to divine their true intentions? That won't be necessary. The crew has nothing to do with the incident. Of that, I am almost certain. It isn't their intentions that trouble me. All I want is for them to lure up the one we're after. Wasn't that my idea, General? Indeed. Your counsel has always been a great help to me. You may use your discretion on the matters ahead of us. Why don't you retire early and I use my discretion full time? Okay. <laughs> it is still too soon, unfortunately. If something goes wrong, you'll need a general to take the blame. How could I simply walk away and put you at such risk? I'm not sure if I like these guys, honestly. If you'd brought me that but then blade again, I don't know. earlier, none of this would have been necessary. Too soon to tell. Wait, what are you up to exactly? <gasps> Xin Yuan, did you let him escape on purpose? Ah, so he did escape. Me? <laughs> I had no idea he might escape. Unlike you, my gaze never travels beyond the horizon. I take full responsibility. The Cloud Knights failed in their duty. I can understand. There's a lot to take care of on the Xinjo. You are bound to miss something. Thank goodness I'm here. On that note, perhaps it's about time you finally nominate me as your successor when the Six Charioteers next convene. Yes, yes, yes. I have to go now. I'll leave this in your overwhelmingly capable hands, Fu Shen. <sighs> there are three things in the world that I can't seem to rid myself of. The troubles of the Sienjo, the papers on my desk, and the weeds in my garden. Huh. General, Diviner Fu wants the General's position for herself. Everyone knows that. She is very capable, but her intellect is burdened by a quick temper. I'll retire when she's achieved a better balance. This Stellaron thing is easy. Blade escaped. Now we gotta go get him. Just say the word, and I'll solve this in a flash. I can understand your impatience. 
And I know you want to prove yourself. Now is not the time. If you truly wish to become sword champion, you shouldn't be running around brandishing your sword at people. Especially not a major criminal. You think I'd lose to Blade? I mean, you probably could, who knows. I'm saying you need to have patience, Yan Qing. Governing Xianzhou is different from a sword fight. The only way to build momentum is to work slowly. Besides, we still don't know who's really moving the chess pieces. There is something we must take care of before making our next move. As long as it remains unresolved, we're at a stalemate. That something is the Stellaron. How did it manage to bypass the Skyfaring Commission's inspections and the Divination Commission's predictions? Where is it now? Yeah, good questions. I say we bring those two Stellaron hunters before Diviner Fu. She'll get an answer out of them in no time. I've asked our friends from the Express to take care of that for us. Worry not, you'll have your moment when the current stalemate is broken. You are my most trusted aide. And there are some things that I would only assign to you. Speaking of which, Yang Ching. <sighs> that boy. I suppose it is my fault. I should have given him an opportunity already. A sharp sword can't stay sheathed forever. <laughs> my fear is that this might prove too big a setback. Bigger than his exuberance. Alright, well that's interesting. Alright, message from Ting Yun. What's up? Seems like you will take a bit longer to chat with Madame Yukon. I'm gonna go have a stroll outside once you're done. You can find me at the docks. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and travel down to the docks and... Um... Now I have to take the long route because... Because of how they have things set up. Let's talk to Ting Yun real quick, and then I'll stop Madame here. Madame Yukong has asked me to look after you. Seems like we were destined to be in each other's company. The Skyfaring Commission has reserved rooms for you at the Petrichor Inn. When you finish your business here, how about some tea together? Oh, that's fine. Thank you so much. Not at all, though I'd appreciate it if you mentioned to Madame Yukong that you got a warm reception from me when you next see her. <sighs> Better to be busy than idle, I suppose. Alright, well, I suppose we could probably find... I suppose we could probably go and find it, yeah. At least this way is not blocked off anymore. Well, here we are. I feel sleepy already. Ready for a nap, March? That's not like you. Ready for a nap? That's not, that's not like you, March. Hey, that's not fair. My eyes are peeled this time. I'll make a run for it the second things go wrong. Sure you will. Uh, jokes aside, did you see Madame Yukong frown at us? I thought her guards were about to jump out of nowhere and throw us in jail. Oh, I'd rather deal with monsters than these big shots. Uh, uh, I mean, not that Madame Yukong doesn't have her merits. <laughs> Smooth, Marge. Don't worry, my lips are sealed. But as her subordinate, I have to say that it's Madame Yukong's duty to keep her guard up. The Law Fu is facing a crisis, and as head of the Skyfaring Commission, she is responsible for the security of the Xianzhou's customs and borders. She's actually a very reasonable old girl in private. Oh, that's fair. 
reasonable? Are we thinking of the same person? They say that many years ago, Madame Yukong was an ace pilot in the Cloud Knights. She was a work hard, play harder type, known for her hot temper and incredible skill. Uh -huh. Eventually, she became the head of the entire commission, which required her to learn patience and adopt a meticulous approach to her work. In any case, Madame Yukong instructed me to reserve the best rooms at the inn and have all your expenses covered. She wants to extend the full courtesy of the Xianzhou so that all of you enjoy your stay to the fullest. All right. She specifically mentioned that if you wish to buy anything at the inn, be it food or otherwise, just let the innkeeper know. The commission will cover the cost. Hmm. So thanks to Madame Yukon for us, then. Why don't you go back yourself? <clears throat> Seeing as our hosts are so thoughtful, I guess we should help ourselves. Right, Mr. Yang? We should focus on our objective first. Seeing as Helmmaster Yukong was extremely reluctant to get us involved, am I right to speculate that the Skyfaring Commission has some leads on the whereabouts of Kafka? Exactly right. The suspect is extremely cunning. She encrypted her transmission and timed her communication. We couldn't pinpoint her exact location. Oh, that's something. But as cunning as she is, the Divination Commission has managed to find something. No. Spill it. That. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. Is there anything special about what she said? Don't let her words distract you. That's the sound of a device. Uh, which means what exactly? This is a starship. There are all kinds of devices making weird noises. Miss March, to the untrained ear, these noises may sound the same, but for the craftsmen of the Artisanship Commission, every machine has a different pitch and melody. The General sent for craftsmen, and they concluded that the sound came from the shipyard facilities in Stargazer Navalia. Ah. Now, get some rest and prepare yourselves for the operation ahead. I look forward to seeing you in action. Okay, well, unfortunately I'm going to need to end things off here because, um, th th things were a little bit, um, wonky today. Um, <laughs> Because I had to do a lot of things today and a bunch of background stuff was happening on. And so there was only so much I could do. Um, but I wanted to get some recording done today, done for this week. So that way I can have something to post and show you all. So, uh, I mean, at least I've made some progress with the main story. So at least that's, there's that. But regardless, I apologize if this video was a little bit shorter than the usual but yeah no we this will definitely be interesting to find out how this happen, how this goes and what happens with our time on the Jianzhou Lao Fu um, hopefully Madame Yuka um, doesn't turn out to be another Madame Kokolia although by the sound of things, doesn't seem like it. Because she's only a Hell's Master under the under the leadership of General Jing Yuan. So, yeah. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to get a like button or get old right hook, and I will see you all. In the next video, peace out.